What's good, guys? Fancy Joe back here with my Week 8 wide receiver rankings. These are half-point PPR rankings, as always. Before I get into it, though, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you have any questions or comments. Leave them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. If you want to beat your friends and family in fantasy football, though, bring home that fantasy football championship, that cash prize, that trophy on your shelf. Hit that subscribe button, though. Alrighty, might be some noises in here at some point. Got the door open. It's a nice day. Dog out there. But uh, let's hop into it. So number one, I've got Tyreek Hill against New England. Tyreek Hill has just been a freak of nature this week. Going to try to kind of gloss over some of these top guys. We know they're massive plays. A.J. Brown against Washington. Broke the record, I think, recently for five straight games in a row with 125-plus yards. Absolutely phenomenal. Jamar Chase led the league in targets before his bye. Stephon Diggs been everything you've won and more against Tampa. Cooper Cup against Dallas. I know it was a rough week, but every wide receiver is going to have bad weeks, and Cooper Cup is usually a model of consistency. Even in a tough matchup against Dallas, I'm still playing him with full confidence. If he has a bad week this week, I would start to get a little bit more concerned, especially if Puka Nakua shines, but let's hope as a Cooper Cup owner myself, we don't have to cross that bridge. Keenan Allen against Chicago, he should as a smash play. I really think they're going to bounce back in this game. Amon Ross St. Brown, he plays Vegas. He's looked phenomenal recently. Eight Devontae Adams against Detroit. He's gotten the targets. Might not be the best matchup, but it's not bad, and they will likely be trailing the entire game. Nine, Puka Nakua. We saw him have an excellent week last week against Dallas. Or last week. This week he has Dallas. Uh, I think Puka Nakua is a fine play and a wide receiver one rest of season. Ten, Mike Evans plays Buffalo. He has been getting a ton of targets, uh, really widely supported, and I know Buffalo's offense hasn't been what you want it to be, but I still think he'll be enough for this to be a high-scoring game. Brandon Ayuk, a bit of a disappointment in that second half. I think brighter days are, are to come, especially with a good matchup, or a solid matchup, and Debo Samuel out. C.D. Lamb against the Rams. I think the Rams' offense is really underrated, so I think this will be a more high-scoring game than people anticipate. 13, Adam Thielen, he plays Houston. The targets have just been flowing for him. He's been awesome for fantasy football this entire season. 14, DJ Moore against the Chargers. Their backup was much better than anticipated this last week. I expect better things for him than I anticipated um, moving forward with the backup situation there. 15, Jacoby Myers. He's been really good this year. Plays Detroit. Like I said, they'll be trailing. 16, Devonta Smith. I know it hasn't been what you wanted, but he is going to be better. He's just a really good wide receiver. Trust that. 17, Jalen Waddell. He plays in New England. Another guy, I just, you have to believe in the talent. I know it hasn't, you know, turned into fantasy points yet, but I do really think it's going to come, hopefully this week, but it will happen for the end of the season, I promise. He's just been banged up, I think, more than anything, and yeah. Chris Olave plays Indy. Olave, <laughs> he might be going too fast, even for his own good so far this season. More wins than one, but I think with the yards that Indy's left to outside wide receivers, I think he is a good play. 19, Jordan Addison, he plays Green Bay. He had a great, uh, great contest this last week uh, against San Francisco. You're definitely playing him. Zay Flowers against Arizona, another guy with a really good game last week and has been really involved in that offense. 21, Garrett Wilson against the Giants is a good matchup. I think you can play him. 22, Michael Pittman Jr., he plays New Orleans. Saw him succeed even in a tough matchup this last week. Nico Collins this week against Carolina. I think you can play him. Lots and loads of wide receiver, two or better rest of season. 24, Christian Kirk, he's dominated recently. Draws Pittsburgh, good matchup. George Pickens has done really well. He plays Jacksonville. I think this could be a uh, game where the Pittsburgh Steelers need to be putting up points. T. Higgins, he plays San Francisco. I think, honestly, I think T. Higgins will be much higher than this. The week after this, I just gave him this mainly due to the rib injury, the reason he's a slightly down on the list. I think T. Higgins is a guy I really like the rest of the season, a guy I might even poke around, try to acquire, but against San Francisco this week, he's a little farther down the list. But look out for him moving forward rest of the season. 27, Marquise Brown. He plays Baltimore. We've been getting a lot of targets. Speaking of a guy that will get better rest of the season, especially when Connor Murray returns. Chris Godwin, he plays Buffalo uh, Godwin hasn't been what you hoped for, but I do think brighter days are ahead. 
I just I don't think the ceiling that you had hoped for maybe with Chris Godwin is there. Joshua Palmer's looked awesome recently in Chicago. Should be really good. 30 Terry McLaurin has logged some much better weeks recently, getting back to his old self. He plays Philly, and they've been susceptible to the past recently. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. It's been Fantasy Joe. Thank you guys for watching.